In this demo, you see how the failover feature introduced in the Oracle NoSQL database works. First, let me explain the usefulness of this feature. Business critical applications have always required continuous availability. As more organizations launch services online, for consumption by global audiences, availability and scalability across distributed geographic regions becomes an increasingly important consideration. To support this, Oracle recommends using availability zones. That is, it recommends you to deploy your store across multiple zones. Since each zone has the copy of the entire store, this configuration provides fault isolation and business continuity. This means that when a zone fails, write availability is automatically re-established as long as the quorum is maintained. Quorum here refers to the minimum number of primary nodes required in a shard to permit electing a master node for write operations. For example, if the primary nodes in the shard is 3, then 2 is the smallest number of nodes that represents a majority. So the quorum is 2. What happens in case a zone failure results in a loss of quorum? In this case, the KV store cannot automatically recover from a zone failure. In such a scenario, an administrator can use a failover feature and manually perform a failover procedure to recover from zone failures. Apart from disaster situations, this feature is also useful in case of planned maintenance, where you need to take one or more zones offline that can result in a loss of quorum. Planned maintenance is actually called switchover, and the steps to perform a switchover and failover is similar. Now, let me show you a demo of the KV store configuration where quorum is lost and how you can perform a failover. I have installed a 2x2 KV store called OACL using two host machines. For the sake of this demo, I am using the alias host1 and host2 to distinguish the two storage nodes. Both the nodes are deployed using port 5000 and the admin services are accessible on each node using port 5001. This 2x2 KV store is deployed across two primary zones called Mumbai and Bangalore. Let me now use the run admin command and connect to the store. If I run the ping command now, I get more details about the deployment. Note that rg2-rn1 and rg1-rn2 are the master replication nodes responsible for write operations and rg1-rn1 and rg2-rn2 are the replica replication nodes responsible for read operations in the store. I will now try to write to the KV store by using the put kv command and then read the values by using the get command. Here, we confirm that the store is operational and these commands run successfully. Let me exit the KV prompt. I will now simulate a disaster scenario. I will stop the host1 storage node agent. Now, if I try to run the run admin command on host1 and port 5000 to connect to the OACL store, I get an error message stating cannot connect to the store. I will now exit the KV prompt. At this point, if I switch over to the admin monitoring console for host1, I see an error message. I will use the run admin command on host2 to connect to the OACL store. Using the ping command, I notice that the storage node and the replication nodes in the Mumbai region are unreachable. This is because I stopped this node's storage node agent to simulate a disaster situation. If I try writing to this store, I receive an error message due to unavailability of quorum. Also, the write operation is unsuccessful. However, the read operation takes place successfully as loss of quorum only affects the write operations. So far, we've simulated a loss of quorum scenario. Now, let us see how we can fix the situation so that write operations can be performed on the KV store in the existing configuration till the issue can be resolved and the loss zone is brought back into the configuration. To fix the loss quorum situation, you need to run two commands. First, repair the admin quorum by specifying the zone name that is available and running in the ZN name parameter. Next, enter the failover command and make the Bangalore zone primary as it is available and the zone that failed, in our case Mumbai, offline secondary. After the completion of the plan, open the admin monitoring console on host2. 
You see the storage node in the Mumbai zone is highlighted in red to indicate that the storage node is down. Switch to the terminal where the KV prompt is running. Enter the ping command to see more details about the KV store. I will now try writing to the store by entering the put KV command. Note that the write operation is successful. I'll also try reading from the store by entering the get command. The read operation is also successful. We have now ensured business continuity even in case of disasters that led to loss of quorum. I will exit from the KV prompt. When the issue that caused the node to fail has been resolved, you can bring back the storage node in that zone and start the storage node agent for that node. Note that you have to bring back the services using the disabled services flag. Then enter the run admin command for host 2 and ping the KV store. Note that the status of Mumbai zone is running, but the nodes are still unreachable. To fix this, you need to repair the topology. After you repair the topology, ping the KV store again. Notice that the Mumbai zone is up and is now a secondary zone running only replica replication nodes. I can choose to change the Mumbai zone to primary or let it function as secondary. To change the zone to primary, I create a clone of the current topology, change the zone type for Mumbai zone in the new topology and then deploy the new topology. Using the ping command, I can verify that the Mumbai region is now running as a primary zone. I can try the write and read commands and see that they run successfully. In this demo, you saw how you can use the failover feature to fix a loss of quorum situation that can occur due to zone failure or even in case of planned maintenance. Thank you for watching this demo.